Now that our website has a connection, what we want to do is we want to insert data into this particular table. So from here, we have nothing shown up, but if we right click and do a view page source, you'll see we have a connection. Now, this means that our system is turned on and the code that we implemented in the last one, such as our function here and our index page, they're all connected. To do this, what we're going to do is we're basically going to create a form on the index page that will then transmit data to a new page that will then call a function to insert the information into the database. So let's start off with our form. So we use Emmet to speed things up a little bit. So inside here, we want to do a form post. Now in here, we're going to go into the pages folder and use add.php. We haven't made that page or that folder yet, but we will in a second. So we're going to go input text. This is going to be username. And we'll turn this into placeholder. Now, the reason we use placeholder is so we can write in the input box and have it disappear once we start typing something in there. And we're going to input password. Placeholder here. Into username, line break, and input submit, and the value will be add user. Now, that's as complicated as the form is. So, if we go take a quick look now, do a refresh, there's our form. Nope, oh, I put username there. Let's just quickly change that to password. And refresh to check, good, username, password. Now from here, we're going to create this. So we want to click into the root folder here. We want to create a new folder called pages. And inside the pages folder, we want to create add.php. Now from here, notice we have this structure. Inside here, add.php, we're going to do this the nice easy way. What we're going to do to start off with is we're going to link to the functions folder. So we're going to include once. Now, because we're inside a folder, we need to navigate back to the root folder and then into the functions. That means dot dot slash. Then we go functions slash functions.php. So we've gone back to the root folder, we're going into the functions folder, and then we're going to look in the functions.php file to find things that we need. Here we want to get our database connection up again. So dollar sign db connect is assigned db link. What we're doing is we're going to collect the information from here. So notice we're using post memory and we're sending over username and password. So we want to collect that into variables. So let's go dollar sign username. It's assigned dollar sign underscore post. This would be username and dollar sign password. Sign underscore post password. Now that we've got this, we can now use a function which we haven't written yet. We're about to get there, like this. We're going to collect the result. And then we're going to use insert user bracket dollar sign db connect username and dollar sign password. So inside here, we're going to create a function called insert user. It's going to take these three items as parameters and then insert it into the database. Then what we want to do is we want to make sure that the information works. So we're going to go if dollar sign result. When it's true, we're going to echo record added health echo fail to record and then underneath it all We'll put in a line break and then we'll go a href equals 
index.php what's it okay so when we click on this page it comes to here we link to functions we connect to the database capture the information insert it inform us whether or not it worked and then give us a link to go back to the index page if we wanted to add more so the next thing is the function here so inside here let's go function insert user now we had dollar sign db connect dollar sign username and dollar sign password so inside here we create some sql so we go dollar sign sql insert into users bracket values and bracket now inside here this is the user table so when we come to here we check against here so notice user table we have id username and password so inside here we want to go id username and password the values this is the information we're sending through now we send through a null for the id so remember id is auto increment that means when we insert something it will automatically update and then from here we will add in some labels we go username and password the reason we have these labels is to help sanitize the data so next we want to create the query and this query is where we use db connect to pair our sql file so it's getting ready so we're putting things together now we're going to add in our parameters so we go query find parameter now inside here we put in our label so un and then we link it to our username and then we do assign query parameter this one here is our pwd and we link that to our password and then once we've got these guys all linked together what we want to do is we want to actually run the command so we do a dollar sign result is assigned dollar sign query execute so that should run it and then we will return dollar sign result back to the add from which we'll then determine here so from here let's test this out so let's go into our page here come to our local host refresh it here we'll put in scott we'll give it a password and password and we'll click add user as you can see it says record added there's my return link brings me back to here let's go take a look at the database now from here nothing's changed we click on browse and as you can see scott's got an id number he's got his username and a password this is automatically incremented so if we add one more so let's go in and go uh, gene password add user record added return hit browse again notice the numbers changed automatically we don't touch it but we have our information and that's how we insert stuff into the database.